Good morning, ladies. My name is Chaz, and welcome to the... <clears throat> Sorry, I have a chuckle in my throat. So, yeah. So now, this is going to be the What If Deku Was Ember. Or... Burmac. Or Ermac. Yeah, Ermac. Yeah. I keep saying er, er, Burmac because it, I'm adding a B, but it's a E. So, <clears throat> ah, so it's a lot to go through. So, like, the, so let's jump right into the, what if? So, <clears throat> yes, I am adding Zooming to this what if. And Zuku <clears throat> was born with a power, hour of, well, similar powers to what the Ember, or not Ember, it's Burmac, Ermac, <clears throat> yeah, Ermac. I'm still getting used to the, and yeah. So, let's begin. So, Zuku and Zumi been born, and... <clears throat> Zuku, or so, at age of three, made some friends. Renko is one of them, and I'm also adding a new, new person, her, Yama. Or, yeah, Yama. She is <clears throat> basically going to be the Zuku's love interest kind because she could sense that Zuku has Ermac. The Ermac has or mm-hmm his own soul manipulation stuff. Like collecting souls. <clears throat> so, and his... Yeah. So, Erm... Yama, and... always hangs out with him all the time. When they were... during three years old. But at age of four... The, they go to Quark Doctor, Zumi and Zuku. <clears throat> and the the Quark Doctor tells Zumi that she can become a hero and <clears throat> that she can become a hero because she has a quirk and all that stuff. But then he looks over at Z- Zuku and tells him that he's quirkless. And he should not become a hero and all that stuff. So then after the quirk doctor's office, the <coughs> his parents abandon him. Um, but the her because her mother or her grandma could sense that Irma and is inside Zuku's body, or basically technically Zuku is a different kind, and. Before we go any further, there will be like a some epic scene with some music, or actually, it's not that kind, but yeah. So, the yeah, I could get the thing, yeah. Well, her grandma 
tells her, or actually, her grandma goes and picks up Zuku from the streets, and she told him that he doesn't need a quirk because his powers, he is Ermac. Not Burmac, Ermac. So, as he's always wondering, what do you mean? You have the powers of Ermac, so you can collect souls, or you have souls in your body, and besides your own, and their anger, their hatred. <clears throat> so, and her grandma uh, is actually the oldest as one besides the, forget his name, the one with the jets thing. Grand Trino, that's what I... I just forgot his name until I whacked myself in the head. So, yeah. So, Zuku was... got trained with her. And... she always loves to watch him train him. As all the souls, <clears throat> souls, so because <clears throat> this is a backstory of how um, Yamans is like grandma knew that Zuko was the embodiment of. <clears throat> Ermac. Well, long time ago, there was a power, or, or there was a man. His name was Ember. His powers was to manipulate souls. He was forged by the human society and betrayed by many that fears his powers more times than you could even count. So he <clears throat> puts a curse on everybody. I mean... Until one day, so, so like, because a curse was cursed on everybody to have to live with, if they committed a crime, aims, or do anything bad, their, <coughs> her evil spirits will consume them. Their own soul will be eaten alive right in front of them. Yeah. So the guy, or so Ermac, died. But his power still lives on. As everybody was doing a lot of good things. So... The pro heroes, or so the villains always end up dying in an instant when they became villains. So, yeah. So then the one day, Ermac hacks essence, like his powers went into 
or created Zucumadoria. Yeah. Because Inko and Asashi and wanted a son. And yeah. So that yeah. So then <clears throat> so Yama as his grandma told or or actually she did tell Zuku the whole story about it and her too. And so this man <coughs> is a re or so you're so you're basically saying I'm the reincarnation of that guy, right? Yes. And as Zuka could feel the ghost or his own souls inside of his body I mean were basically yeah was was all enraged by like something so so yeah so Asashi or so, yeah. So, a time skip to 15. Zuku looks more... He looks more, like, buffed up ver- version of him. <coughs> but he does... He does use his powers for until he's ready so he can remove the curse from everybody. I mean, because his his souls that were in his body is over 9,000. Yeah. Because they all are trying to fight for control of his body. That reminds me. Do you guys want me to do a what if for like fusion? I'm thinking about doing a what if Deku was Doomzilla. So, Doomzilla is a fusion of him, Doomsday, and Godzilla. (coughs) Yeah, so, if you guys want me to do that, let me know in the comments and I'll do it. Because I feel like the, it needs to be addressed before we go any further. So, yeah. So then Zuku or Irma Zuku or actually his the Yamans' grandma nicknamed him Ermac because yeah instead of Deku because yeah when Ermax's mother died it, she didn't die from the curse. She died from old, old age. Like, like she died. She died natural causes, but now her soul is now in Zuku's body. As he's, his body name. And all of those souls were as her parents t- 
took him in as a because when they heard that the Zuku was Irma, they took him in and raised him as their one of their own. And yeah, I was going to make it like dark, but they, yeah. So, <clears throat> so she still dates him. And she knows that he's just. I'm gonna win. So yeah. So she basically still dates him. As the. Yeah. So, a time skip to fifteen. Wait. Did I say that? I don't remember, but yeah. So, <clears throat> so they go to UA. Bakugo sees Zuku, and he's all upset that Zuku is in UA. As <clears throat> and Zuku still says. I and me as Yama was in the front of a line. Zuku was <coughs> going to be getting up to her. But Tenya s- says, you're going to distract her, her too, huh? Or you're going to distract her. As Zuku looks over, hmm. as Yama is like, he's actually with me. And, come on there, man. Or Zuku. <laughs> uh, okay. As Tenya's like all upset. Same upset as what Bakugo is. As he's like, oh, this quirkless loser should not be. As that all changed when during the robot arc. Because the. <clears throat> him, Zuku says. Or actually, she says, "Ready, Irma or Zuku?" Yep. And Zuku used his own as doors open as Zuku flies out of there with Yama, and both of them <clears throat> um destroyed one pointers, two pointers, three pointers, like a teamwork. Her. Like, he can, they both move around. Oops, sorry. They can move around. But, yeah. So, and Zuku, who didn't notice, but he, his body did change. Hinge. <clears throat> Into like name <clears throat> because Sub Zero was in this what if, but he died when and from like natural causes, so he his so Zuku became a Sub Zero version and and froze. And then he, like, MK1 characters that are in it, some of them died from old age, some um, became pro-heroes. 
and Scorpion died. He, but Zuku transformed into <clears throat> um, using Scorpion's powers. I know he doesn't do it in uh, games or movies. But come on, it's going to be fun. Plus, it's my what if, so, yeah. So then, yeah. I know he doesn't do it in the show, but, or movies or games, but that would be cool for him to just shape shift. So when he <coughs> grabs Zuku, or so when one of the chains grabs, like, Yama, I think. This girl holds the waist, pulls her towards him so that they, to avoid the missiles that were aiming right at her when she was in midair. And she's like, man, you're doing pretty good. So then he, <clears throat> he, so then he, Used all of his powers. What was that clunking noise? I don't know. So, yeah. So, they... Basically, Zuko... Was pretty powerful. I don't know what just happened. Yeah, so... The... <coughs> yeah. So Zuku ends up basically knocking the, or so they're both oh, knocking the one pointers, two pointers, three pointers, as music mics in the background, <laughs> saying to the students, "There's no time limit on, or no timer, or for no countdown on." During the real match. So go, go, go. As they all like win. But Zuku. <clears throat> so all the robots were defeated before the. the cl before the tire students even got to there. <clears throat> As. Zuku was basically, yeah, as he uses his powers, as the, <clears throat> as he uses, <clears throat> because let's say a zero pointer. <coughs> <clears throat> came out, and Zuku sees Ochako's about to get killed by, but then two skeleton hands comes up out of the ground, grabs the zero pointer, <clears throat> as he says, Take her and go. I'll take care of him. As Yama agrees and gets the debris off of Ochako, picks her up and like, and she goes. Who's? As the time stops. Time's up as the machine, the robot exploded when, after he let go. That was fun. <coughs> yeah. Are you doing okay? Yeah. I'm still in control of my own body. As... Baku goes, and everybody's eyes were, like, wide, like, 
turned into like eggs thing or like you know those like how anime characters shoot their eyes out like or they make that face of what the electric user in one piece, the guy that ate the electric fruit, who's his face when he was battling against Luffy. I still can't believe it was pretty hilarious to find someone that's, yeah. So, <clears throat> so then, yeah. So everybody can't believe that Yama and Zuku were a pretty good team. And Bakugo, before he left, or after Zuku left, as are you really quirkless? Yeah, but I was born with uh, powers. Powers of Ermac. Though, <clears throat> remember that story? Sorry about the guy cursed all of us. Yeah. As he lives up to a legacy. So when Rinko heard that Zuku who was born powerful, because <clears throat> in this storyline there's tier lists of like basically quirkless, quirked, and powers. Powers. So Zuku is the only one that's in powers category. Everybody else was in quirks and quirkless. As, yeah, <clears throat> when everybody heard that he's more powerful than anyone, so both of them share the same score as... <clears throat> The, yeah, of 1.9 million, or should I say 1.9 bazillion points each. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, Zuku and her were are in official Class 1A. As... Yeah. So then she goes, takes them back to her house, and her parents are glad. And yeah. The. Yeah. So. <clears throat> So I'm not uh, going to, um, like, so they do get accepted to UA, and, but at USJ, the Bakugo was like, that's so cool, actually, and, or that was actually, I mean, Bakugo tells Zuku, you having powers, actual powers, without a quirk? You're crazy. All of us has to, like, fill certain conditions. That, but you born as an actual power? Huh? That's crazy. Yeah. But the downsides to having this much power... Um, is that 
there's always the past souls. Holmes always tries to take over your body. As when... <coughs> what do you mean? As Bakugo says. As she says, it's, a, it's one of the powers... Or eh. See, let me explain this. Your friend, or our friend here... He was born with a power that st stores other quirks, or no, stores other souls into himself. So, so basically, they're fighting each other for control of his body. Now, because the... In ancient times, and there used to be a man, man that was had the same thing, but he was so much pain. Everybody from the outside of his body, like rest of us picked on him till the day he died. But before his death, he cursed everybody. And the curse was the, if a person committed a crime or do some evil, their souls will be ripped out of their bodies by like dark spirits and getting consumed right in front of them. As <clears throat> when Bakugo looks over at Zuku, wait, or looks at her and says, wait, so you're saying it was a curse? Is that why there's not very many villains to fight? As one of the students says, or, yes, because they, because their souls have been devoured by, him, including, included, all for one. As all for one actually, he got killed. Home huh? before. So there is no like what all my versus all for one fight because all my all for one got killed very early in this story, so So there is no like no one to, like, help Shiraki Sin with, like, his powers thing. Things and, yeah. As, yeah. So. So, yeah, everybody was now... When all the students were terrified of Zuku, except for Emma, because she actually did good things instead of the bad thing. And she did, she did like, she sometimes named. When she's really in the, the romantical mood thing, Zuku could sense it from <clears throat> him the mile away. And she actually told 
the goo that the she actually told Bakugo when she was looking at Zuku that she actually has a heart for him or for Zuku as she puts her hand on his face as she kissed him um right then and there. Yeah. So. Yeah. It was after school. It was. Or so they were away from. Yeah. So. Yeah. Zuku ends up basically is happy that the him, but his sister Zumi, when she heard that Zuku or her brother was born, learned as a with powers. She walks, or so she walks past her own parents because as she's, as Sashi says, what's wrong? As she just says, well, my, can believe it. You know that story that you who always told me or and my brother about or you always told me the story about the the guy called <coughs> Burma or Ermac yeah well comes to find out. My brother is Ermac. And is his reincarnation. Azumi's, or Inko's eyes, or Sashi's eyes widen as he could not believe. <coughs> the same guy that, that cursed the entire world. <coughs> and the villain's Die from him. So. A lot. So, yeah. Is that why. As. When. Inko heard about the. That her son is the. From that legendary story thing. She was like, they both like, after they ate, they laid down. Um, And they were like, oh man, our son is, yeah. So, so yeah, the So one day Renko walks up to her. Her uh-huh. and tells her that that like she didn't like do like death threats or things. But instead, because they were visiting, and she actually told her that, how about me and you date Zuku together? As 
She says, sure. So it's basically like a double date thing. They're good dates. And her and Ringo. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, Rinko ends up... Hold on, let me make sure to add them. So, yeah. So, that's a, a suggestion for... Yeah. Name. Yeah. So then... So a time skip to overhaul fight because... Yeah. And during the time skip... Zuku... Rinko and... Her... Yama... Both of them... Or all three of them... Dated each other's. Or like Yama and Rinko dated the Zuku who and yeah. So and his hero costume is similar to Ermax, but with some green colors on the like because he has like Arm guards and yeah. So yeah, finally, <clears throat> Emma and Rinko tells Zuku that name. Wait, I just realized something. If a villain were like automatically getting killed by. The curse would overhaul be a same thing, yeah. So scratch that part about the overhaul art thing. So a time skip to the future. So yeah, because I just remembered that overhaul, like basically. And his groups of, like, small group was, got killed, so. Plus, Hero Killer Stain was killed before the, name, he even met Tenya as his brother. So, yeah. So, when Zuku... <clears throat> As the, yeah. So when Zuku, whom was learning how to tr use his powers, but then he kind of felt bad because if there's no villains, sh hero shouldn't be ex existing. And if a hero don't, it's like a balance between the, in <coughs> the hero's favors thing. As he's thinking about that, as everybody asks him, and he's like, what are you thinking? And, well, I think we need to, like, bring, I think I need to remove the curse that kills anybody. Because they, except, there's one condition, or, that one condition that they, the curse 
has no effect on the <laughs> always say brutality and uh, Ermac wins. Ermac wins. Yeah. So Ermac wins. As the Ermac and person. So basically Zuku is the is the technically would be Ermac's reincarnation, so the curse doesn't affect him, but it affects everybody else. So what does he do? <clears throat> he doesn't know how to like remove the curse, but deep down the original Ermac, the one that placed the curse onto everybody else except for him, was as like told him the him. Let me go, make step by step. Okay, I'll teach you how to undo. As a guru says it with me, as he says the words. And Zuka repeats, or says it same thing, as the curse lifted out of air into himself. So, or actually, he disintegrated it all. And now everybody is now free to do whatever they want. As All Might Hint says. What, or actually, they they do know how to fight, and they can use their quirks. But the Dead Arms asked Zuku, "What did you do?" <coughs> well, I simply removed the curse because, to me, it seems like it was unfair. Or for all of you to suffer from Hummet. Because the, all of your pain, as he explains to the pro heroes, that reason why is because they, he basically. So he basically tells them that the, uh, I'll give you the riddle, okay? Or actually, I'll riddle me this, riddle me that. The, as Chris says, so now, without further ado, yeah. So he says this, or or actually, he tells them that it's always going to be balanced between the light side and the dark side. The heroes always versus the villains. No matter who wins, it's just the battle for survival in this world. As all my... It's like, as he tells... Oh my that you would have been mm, you wouldn't or none of you none of us pro heroes would have had any true villains to fight us, like be equals amount. If as Zermi or as All Might or everybody sees why what he means. So they agree that he did the right choice because without the villains, pro heroes are just, or, or actually the heroes are just be heroes. Nothing more, nothing less. So like basically, yeah, Many things tried. 
So, yeah, he did the right thing. And, but he made a custom stand-in so that the, if someone actually committed a, like, really bad sin, like, darkness. Yes, sorry. Yes, everybody was, <clears throat> yeah. So, Zuku ends up. So he does get married to Rinko and y- Yama. No, that's why I put the her their names on the top left corner corner of their name. So yeah, I did it with three of them. To just remember what names they are. So, <clears throat> so yeah. So after they got married and they had two kids, one from each wife that he has. Her hers is. I pronounce his name wrong. It's. Kai, uh, oh, Kato, Kato. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you could see it right up in the left corner. And then we got... And for Rinko is Hana. Hana, that's her. Hana is basically... She has similar powers to her father. Both of them do. And they both have their mothers as quirks. So that makes them the betweener. What it means is basically they are between quirks and powers. Because they were born right in the, right down the middle. So So yeah, the So, Kato, Kato, or I can't even say the name properly, so that's why. He has his mother's, is quirk, that can, so basically she can talk to the land of the dead and the, the crazy stuff. And, or, she... Or so her she actually ends up she has the powers to push ghosts away because yeah and his is more of a like he can talk to ghosts he can sense true feelings of a person like one time the Ochako was was blushing because the when she, she saw Zuku's beautiful face as he was made a combatment combatment <clears throat> about her or having the like man you you sure do love my aim father don't you as her face becomes more blessed I could st- as everybody's, or as Ochako was so embarrassed. But thank goodness no one else was around. So then the, yeah. And what I mean by, and plus, because both of them are technically a bro- brother and sister kind, they got long great. So... 
Plus, they are opposites to each other. So, so she ends up pushing ghosts and curses away from people. And he could sense a person and, and what curse that they have at, back in their past lives and all that stuff. So, so yeah, Zuku was basically, <clears throat> so yeah, plus Zuku was immortal, and reason why that, yeah, that the original Ermac, died was because he didn't understand his powers that well. So he died from natural causes, um, anger, and, yeah. And then the... <coughs> so Zuku got approached by his alternate self where I'm still working on his alternate Zuku where... In the last video, the one that was before this video came out, the, um, let me go to here, the what a Deku was a boxer or her ultimate boxer, um, <clears throat> because I'm still working on his, his, like, powers. Or his backstory. So the he basically basically yeah. So he pops up and with a big buff guy and right beside him and they both tell him or one of them tells him that he can save their metaverse or their universe from or saving their timeline from destruction so yeah so then <clears throat> Yeah, so they they all agree, and he actually so his wives says we'll be here when you get back. Okay, I promise. They pinky promise to him, and yeah, and. He comes back safe. So then, after that, the <clears throat> he joins. So that's two out of like five, or actually a four, or no, wait. So him. Him, on her or ultimate mother version, and three. So three, including the the team leader. It is like similar to Avengers. Assemble one. Where they have the Hulk, Captain America, Thor, Black Widow, and Hawkeye. Yeah. So they have the Zuku Ultimate Boxer. They have now have the Zuku Burmak or Ermac. And, and 
the character's name is actually called Multiverse Traveler Zuku. Or actually, Metaverse Traveler Zuku. He travels through different dimensions, but he has a time anchor to, like, his own timeline. So, so then, Baku, or so, yeah. So there was three people out of five. There's only two more what-ifs, and then the, then the big story for him will be coming soon. So, yeah. I'm still working on his part, so... If you were expecting... Yeah, so... <clears throat> and if you go... I'm going to make a playlist of... The... For... It would be called... Story... Or Adventurer's Story... And if you guys want me to do a new what if about, and if you guys like that story about the weird guy kind, let me know in the comments below and I'll do it. Peace.